I've got to admit, as someone who loves customization as much as I do, I haven't really tried all that many third-party home screen launches, but for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to try and find some super unique launches that I've personally never used before. And I've actually put together a list of five home screen launches that are either very much unknown or that are super unique. And I reckon that some of these launches might just surprise you. We're gonna start relatively tame and then get crazier and crazier with each launcher that I showcase. So with that being said, let's get to launcher number one. And that launcher is called Stario Launcher. And in terms of how unique this launcher is, well, it's pretty low on that scale, but it is a brand new launcher with like less than 100 downloads in total at the time of making this video. So I thought it was worth including at the top here. Now, if you're into customization, well, this launcher probably isn't the one for you. And that's because it's inspired by the minimalist phone concept. And therefore it aims to bring you a decluttered home screen experience in order to enhance functionality and productivity. The home screen is just three simple widgets, a greeting and date widget, a clock widget, and a battery percentage widget. Though there's also a media player widget that will become active whenever any media is playing if you decide to enable that particular feature. Then to get into your apps, you just tap or swipe up on where it says apps here, and there you go. You get all of your apps laid out in these little pill-shaped boxes, which makes for a pretty clean look. To find the settings for this launcher, you do have to manually scroll down to the settings shortcut here. And with that opened, you can see we have some minor options for customization, including making each application icon monochromatic, which I quite like the look of. And then as I said, there's also an option for turning on or off the media player widget. And that's really it. If we come back home though and swipe over to the right, you'll see that we also have this clean note taking interface. And then the only other feature offered by this launcher is if we perform a quick swipe up gesture on our home screen, then we'll get this neat little search interface, which allows us to search for and open any application of our choosing. Like I said, this is a super minimal launcher that looks really clean. So definitely worth checking out. All right, stepping things up a bit. And next up we have AP15 launcher. And this is also a bit of a minimalistic style launcher, but it does not resemble any sort of stock launcher at all. And that's because it simply presents you with a list of your apps as text. And what's really neat is that if you grant the app usage permissions, it'll actually increase or decrease the size of your various app names, depending on how often you use the app. And so not only will this provide an interesting insight into how often you use the apps on your phone, but it'll also make it easier to find the apps you do use more often. Aside from that, there are surprisingly some handy customization options available as well, including changing the color or size of the text, changing the font, hiding the system status bar, plus a bunch of other fun stuff as well. But if you're after something really minimal that also looks super unique, well then this launcher has your name written all over it. Oh, and a huge shout out to the developer behind the AP15 launcher, as they've been kind enough to give each of my channel members a promo code to the premium version of the launcher. So if you wanna pick up one for yourself, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member, which you can do so using the link below. And then we have AIO Launcher, which has a similar text-based vibe to it like the AP15 Launcher does, but it also adds in a bunch of extra goodies to make it just that little bit more functional. The primary goal of AIO Launcher is to present you with important information without overcomplicating things with unnecessary colors and animations. The home screen is filled with widgets, which are all primarily text-based, and this allows you to view a whole heap of information at just a quick glance. You can then interact with each of the widgets just as you would with a normal widget, and if you wanna customize or delete any particular widget, you can just swipe on it, and there you go. To access all of your apps, you just swipe in from the left, and then if we open the AIO settings, you'll see that there are actually stacks and stacks of customizations that you can tweak to make the app look and behave how you want it to. It's actually kind of overwhelming just how much customization there is, but it's nice that the options are there should you feel like mixing things up. All right, before we get to the next launcher, I do want to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Fly. If you haven't heard of it yet, Fly is like a real world version of the metaverse in that it renders real world cities into beautifully modeled virtual 3D maps that you can then explore to interact with other users. You simply tap on a building or landmark and you'll see every post made by other users of the app related to that location. 
And creating your own posts is super simple as well. You just drop a pin on the place you visited, select between making a public post or a private chat post, and then you just write about the experience you've had, attach an image or video, and then you hit post. You can also tap this explore button on the homepage to browse posts from any given location. And you can even use the tags at the top here to find recommendations suited to your needs. You can also add other users as friends and see their entire post journeys if you like. And it's just a really great way to not only stay in touch with people you already know, but also to meet new people as well. So make sure to get involved in this pretty cool community by using the first link down in the description below. Okay, next up we have Computer Launcher. And in terms of craziness levels, this one gets right up there at about a four out of five crazy. And that's because, as you can see, this launcher emulates a Windows desktop style layout. It comes complete with a taskbar and even a start menu for that really authentic Windows-like experience. And this start menu is obviously where you can access all of your apps and settings. And when you jump into the settings for this launcher, there are also a ton of fun customizations to be made, which will make the experience even more unique. There's even a full on quick settings menu down the bottom here, which looks great and works really well. And then the cherry on top is the inbuilt file browser that lets you explore all the files stored on your phone in what looks and feels very much like the native Windows File Explorer interface. It's a heck of a lot of fun and definitely worthy of a place in today's video. But then the full five out of five unique and crazy rating goes to the incredibly well-designed alpha hybrid launcher. If you've ever wanted your phone to feel like it was a part of some sort of science fiction movie, well, this launcher is probably the first and biggest step towards making that experience a reality. You've got this futuristic home screen that plays host to a bunch of handy shortcuts. And what's really cool is that as you tap each of these shortcuts, these beautiful sci-fi-esque animations and sound effects will play. And it honestly just makes the entire experience super immersive. You can also tap this button down the bottom to access some of your favorite app shortcuts. And then you can also swipe to the right to see all of your apps. There's a whole heap of customizations you can make as well, some of which do require a paid upgrade. But as you can see, it is a seriously impressive home screen launcher. And you can really tell that the development team behind it has worked their butts off to make a home screen experience like no other. And so there you have it. Those are five super unique home screen launches that I reckon you'll get a kick out of trying. Aside from that, if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.